So if you see this hierarchy, this will make you understand how things are working in Kubernetes. So you have a cluster and in the cluster you have nodes. The nodes can be the master or uh, um, worker nodes. And in the nodes you have pods. And in pods you have containers finally. Your application is working inside the container. So this order will help you remember. Uh, how uh, things are working here in Kubernetes. So the smaller unit resides in the bigger one. Now the main question arises why this pod is required when the application is running inside a container? What is the function of the pod and why it has been used? So pod is, a, is an object which is the smallest entity managed by Kubernetes. I mean, Kubernetes managed containers via pods. But what is the difference between container and pods? Let us understand. So if you consider this egg as a container, then the egg contains egg yolk and egg white. So you can consider the egg yolk as your source code or application. And the white portion are the binaries or the dependencies which are required for this source code. Okay, So you cannot imagine an egg only with the yellow portion or only with the white. right? So if, if there is an egg, then it has to be like this. And the outer covering is the shell okay? inside which your uh, egg material is protected. Now if this is this container was sufficient enough then why we need pods right so you can imagine a pod like this so a pod is like a wrapper or another layer of uh, uh, encapsulation for the container so it is always easy to handle pods than containers you can understand from this analogy and if this is a pod then these are multi-container pods. That means those pods which contains more than one container. Okay. Generally, a pod contains single container, but there are use cases, there are scenarios when a pod contains more than one container. And those pods are called as multi-container pods. So we will see all these things in detail in later slides, but just now to understand the concept you should understand what is the difference between a container and a pod. So in technical terms, if I talk about uh, if in, in my container, I have my source code, my application and some environment variables and some dependencies um, encapsulated. And in a pod, I have either one container or more than one container, which are similar in nature. Okay. And the pod will act like a external wrapper to the container. So why a pod is required? It is easy to operate a pod instead of a container. And the containers are encapsulated into a wrapper which is known as pod. The IP address is assigned on a pod level. Always remember. So when whatever containers are working inside the pod will share the same IP address. However, the port numbers will be different. So every container can be accessed using different port numbers, but the IP address will be common to all the containers working inside a pod. So IP address will be assigned by Kubernetes at pod level instead of containers. Now, in this picture, you will see what is not possible in, in, in terms of pod and container. So pods may belong to different nodes. So here in this picture, if you see, this is my node one, node two, it means worker node one or worker node two. So inside my worker nodes, I have my pods running. Every pod has its own IP address and every pod has at least one container working in, inside it. So this is a single container pod. This is a multi container pod. This is a single container pod, multi container pod. So containers in a pod cannot belong to different nodes okay or a pod cannot span 
to multiple nodes. This is just not possible. Okay. However, this is possible, fairly possible. 